If any of you were paying attention to the markets today, you know that the major indices bounced back like crazy. The Dow Jones was up 1.5% today, bouncing back, gaining over 500 points. The S&P, very similarly, was up 1.2%, and the NASDAQ was up almost 1% as well. Cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, were both up as well over the last 24 hours. And what happened? Guys, we had a major, major dip correction in the stock market that just happened that a lot of people kind of freaked out about. So I want to talk about what causes us to do that psychologically, what causes us to freak out, and some principles that you can add to your investing that can help you not do that in the future. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tip Ranks YouTube channel. I'm Richard Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I want to talk to you guys about the markets in general today because look, the markets have been going up and down like crazy, right? But we're still kind of at all time highs. It's up and down, a percent, up and down, up and down, up and down. And this tends to create a very psychological effect on a lot of us, especially a lot of us are using Robinhood and Webull and all these different trading apps. So we're looking at our brokerage accounts way more often than we used to be able to. We used to have to call somebody and say, hey, where, where's my account? How am I doing? But now it can kind of, you can set up alerts. It can be in your face constantly all the time while you're at work or whatever, right? And it's creating this kind of weird, psychological effect and as the markets go up and down it uh, it creates a couple different things that happen so we're gonna talk about why I think people don't take advantage of a couple of these opportunities these corrections when they happen if you watch my channel at all or if you watch me on here you know that I love taking the advantage uh, of different corrections and dips and things like that so I want to talk about that in this video but I want to talk about why most people don't do that in the stock market there's two main principles one is loss aversion and the second one is herd mentality and they work together in this very sinister way that I want to show you specifically on the Bitcoin chart here in a second because I know a lot of people that have done this in the past um, and it probably happens on a daily basis and there are good traders that take advantage of this sort of price action but I want to show you on the Bitcoin chart how loss aversion and herd mentality work together to screw a lot of people out of a lot of money when they panic so loss aversion let's like think of it this way okay so in terms of loss aversion when a stock is going down okay people tend to panic sell because they think oh my gosh this is gonna go down a lot further so I don't want to lose more money so let's look at the one month chart for Bitcoin and we'll go over this principle here real quick let's say you bought on Monday September 6th and you purchased one Bitcoin let's just say for fifty one thousand six hundred dollars okay Next day you're feeling pretty good because now you just gained a thousand dollars in a day. You made a thousand bucks, fifty-two thousand six hundred and seventy-two dollars now. Okay, per Bitcoin. But then the next day, looks what look what happens. You just lost. You gained a thousand, but now you just lost five grand on your initial fifty-one thousand dollar investment. It doesn't feel so good, right? Let's say you didn't spend that much. Let's say you only had five hundred dollars to spend. Okay and you bought a, a, a hundredth of a Bitcoin. So you bought a hundredth of a Bitcoin and now you just lost a hundred dollars of your investment. It doesn't feel good, right? So what some people might do here is they'll try to mitigate, mitigate further loss and they'll sell. And it's not really a rational kind of uh, a reason that they're doing it. They're not doing it based on anything other than they're panicking, okay? And then the next day they feel good about that decision because Bitcoin fell more. But then look, it pops back up, then it drops back down, then it goes sideways, then it pops way back up to where where past you where you sell it last time, and then something else happens: the herd mentality, fear of missing out. We've all heard of that FOMO, right? So you buy here, and it goes back up, and you feel good for a couple days, and then it drops way down, and you lose more money, and you sell again before it starts to recover. So herd mentality, fear of missing out compounding with loss aversion can work together to lose you a ton of money let's go look at the one year bitcoin chart because i know this has probably happened to some of you who are watching this in some of your investments across the board but i can show you how this can really do some damage to your portfolio what some people will do is they'll have the fear of missing out they're gonna buy way up here and it's gonna start dropping and they're gonna sell 
Then it's going to start going up and they're going to buy again. And then it starts dropping and they're going to sell. And then it starts going up and they wait a little bit longer because uh, maybe it's not going to work out. And then they buy right here. And it goes up and it goes back down. And they sell again. And it's this vicious cycle with loss aversion and herd mentality. Fear of missing out. That creates a lot of pain in a lot of people's portfolios. Now, what you could have done instead... The, the big principle that I want to share with you guys in this video is dollar cost averaging. That's what you could have done instead. Let's just use simple, simple numbers. Let's say you have uh, 10 shares of stock that are each worth $100 a piece. So you've spent $1,000 on this stock, okay? Let's say it goes down to $900. You lost 10% of your investment. But let's say you have a little extra money. You Maybe you made another $500 that you can, uh, over the course of this last month, that you can invest in the stock market. And now instead of selling and losing $100, locking in those losses, you go in and you buy $500 worth of more worth of stock. Now, instead of having a cost basis of $100, you have a cost basis of 97.50 instead. So, you effectively brought the cost of each of your shares down. That's a really really good way to invest over the long term instead of panic selling. So I wanted to talk about that today um, and because the markets just have been have been crazy lately. They really, really have over the last uh, really over the last like a year and a half, two years, they've just been crazy. And I know it's taken a toll on a lot of people. Um, I, I love the opportunities we've been seeing in the stock market lately. I really, really do, and I've been taking advantage of them to build build real wealth for me and my family. So I hope, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know down in the comments. If there are some other principles that you want me to talk about or share with people, please let me know. But you can see how this can really uh, wreck some havoc on your portfolio um, if you if you really just buy high and sell low, which a lot of people do. We hear that you should buy low and sell high, but most people do the opposite, unfortunately, just because of psychology. And it's hard because we're talking real money. But you're losing real money when you make these decisions or you're gaining real, real money when you make other decisions. And most people have you know, more than a few years to make these decisions. If you're in your 60s or 70s or something like that, and your portfolio is going down by 5%, 10%, you know, maybe that's not such a good thing, right? You can't afford to lose 20%, 30% of your portfolio. Then it might be a good time to sell. I don't know. But if you're younger and you have decades to invest, it's probably not a good thing to panic sell when the markets are going down a little bit uh, because they tend to correct themselves. And sometimes over the course of a couple days, like the major indices just did. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you found some value in this video or learned something new, please let me know by hitting that subscribe button and the like button down below. And I'll see you in the next one.